On Utah's Capitol Hill last night, the legislature passed a major tax overhaul plan during the special session. Reaction still pouring in this morning. ABC4's Brittany Johnson has details from the Capitol. After nearly four and a half hours of back and forth, the tax reform bill has passed and is now on its way to the governor's desk to be signed. Although the bill did pass, it didn't pass with enough votes to take effect immediately, but it still goes to the governor. It will take effect in 60 days, but according to lawmakers, will be retroacted so the tax cuts can still begin January 1st. Some of the deal breakers for lawmakers who didn't support the bill include the cut to income tax, saying it hurts school funding and doesn't include a plan to ensure the stability of Utah's education system. The sales tax on food, saying the tax credit in the bill is insufficient and the bill does more to hurt the lower middle class than help. Lawmakers in support say it was important to pass the bill during the special session to provide structural stability to the state, adding, although the bill is complex for some Utahns, they'll all come around when they start seeing more money in their checks come 2020. I think if you look at what we've done, we've had $125 food credit. We put back the uh, EITC, the earned income in, uh, credit, we've actually removed the tax on Social Security, and uh, we've increased, exemptions. increased the exemptions, and that's a big deal. To hear the public comment, over probably a 1,000 people spoke, and I maybe heard 800 of them. I did not hear many people speaking in favor of this bill. The emails I'm receiving from Senate District 8 also are against this bill. Reporting from the Utah State Capitol, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.